Hello YouTube, Crazy Robot Lady here. Well, I changed my mind about not finishing the Quirky series as it stands. I thought it would be super confusing to um, do two Quirky tapes and then drop the series and go to Cricket and then go back. But then again, I thought it would be even more confusing if I dropped it right now went back several months later and did three more tapes. So I decided to go ahead and do the, um, the two quirky tapes that I have. And when I purchase the third one, I will record it. Welcome to day six of getting to know quirky. Have you ever had one of those boring, terrible days when it's raining and gross and all you really wanted to do was to ride your bike down the street or sit out on your front porch um, or make a bonfire. Well, weather did not cooperate. So as adults and kids, we have the same dilemma. Did you hear all that water on our road? That was from tropical storm or hurricane, whatever it is, Nicole. Uh, she is dumping her vengeance on us uh, in the south. Don't know if you can hear the rain, but I just thought I would let you listen. So anyway, today's cassette is let's play at my house. So let's join Quirky at his house, sort of. Zachary, my turn again. 
Okay, I said. Are we at the Rocky Mountains yet? Uh-uh, said Zach. We gotta go through Death Valley first. Needle, I said. I better get my whistle ready. Now when I sing about the whistle blowing, you pull the cord on the train whistle up and down. And don't forget to sing. No. When the train comes along, when the train comes along, gonna hear that whistle blow when the train comes along. <laughs> Good one, said Zach. My turn, I said. We gotta make it out of the valley and up the side of the mountain. All the way to the top, said Zach. That's gonna be a long haul. You know what I said, so be sure to turn the train wheels as hard as you can. I'll try, said Zach. Now I'm gonna sing again, and when the train wheels start turning, you move your arms around and around, and sing too. Oh dear. When the train comes along, when the train comes <laughs> along, gonna see those wheels are turning when the train comes along. After a long, hard pull up the mountain, our train finally made it to the top. Yay, said Zach, the Rocky Mountains. We made it to the Rocky Mountains. Well, watch out, I said. We're gonna zoom down the other side. Okay, buddy, now you hold on tight and do everything we've already done. When the train comes along, when the train comes along, gonna see those wheels are turning, gonna hear that whistle blow, gonna punch your ticket twice, gonna get on at the station when the train comes along. Way to go, buddy! <laughs> I bet you're the fastest train ever. True. Now that you know how to be a fast train, let's play stop and go train. When you hear the music, you pretend you're a train going down the track. Walk around in a big circle and move your arms like the wheel. If you want, you can even blow your whistle. When the music stops, you stop at the station, let the people off, and then go again when the music starts. Now get ready to pull out of the station, because here we go. Okay, we're pulling out of the station. Easy does it. Now we're picking up speed. Walk faster. Faster. Here comes the next station. Now get ready to slow down and stop. Don't move now. The people are getting off. Wait, wait. Okay, get ready to roll. We're late, so we gotta hurry. Get going. That's it. Hurry. We gotta make it to the next station on time. Faster. We're almost at the station. We're almost there. And here it is. Hold still while the people get off. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, all aboard. Here we go. Okay, pal, we're on the straightaway now, and we gotta make up for the lost time. Let's go as fast as we can. Well, we <laughs> fast. I think we're gonna make it right on time. Here's the station, but oh no. We're oh. going too fast to stop. <laughs> we went right by the station. We gotta back up. Put your engine in reverse and walk backwards. That's it. Now stop. Phew. Just in time. It's the end of the line for this train. Boy, oh boy. It's fun to pretend you're a fast train. And I like to run fast and pedal my bike fast, too. Hey, I've got an idea. I'll name three things and see if you can tell me which one is the fastest. Ready? Here goes. A wagon, a car, an airplane. Which one is the fastest? An airplane. Well, a wagon isn't very fast, and a car is faster than a wagon. But a jet plane is the fastest. Here are three more things. Tell me which one is the fastest. A turtle, a horse, or a snail? Which oh one is the fastest? A horse. Come here. The right answer is a horse. Now I'll name three things you can do. See if you can tell me which one is the fastest. 
crawling, running, or walking? Which one is the fastest? Running. The fastest one of those is running. Did you get it right? 57 p.m. Gee, you sure are smart. And that's a fact. Here's another game I like to play at my house. It's called Copycat, and it drives my sister Cricket bananas. <laughs> if you want, you can be a copycat too. Just say everything I say right after I say it. And be sure you say it just <coughs> like I do. Here it goes. Now I am a copycat. Now I am a copycat. And this is what I do. And this is what I do. No matter what you say. No matter what you say. I say it just like you. I say it just like you. Now I am a copycat. Now I am a copycat. And this is what I do. And this is what I do. No matter what you say. No matter what you say. I say it just like you. I say it just like you. Now I am a copycat. Now I am a copycat. And this is what I do. And this is what I do. No matter what you say. No matter what you say. I say it just like you. I say it just like you. Wowee! Wasn't that a fun game? <laughs> you make a great copycat. Thanks. Hi there, pal. Are you ready for another great make-believe adventure? Well, I sure hope so. Because this one's really exciting. It's all about pirates. Hey, let's go hunting for buried treasure right now. Okay, matey, here we are aboard the Silver Swan, the fastest pirate ship to ever sail the seas. Captain Drake's a nice guy, but we better stay out of his way just in case. Uh-oh, I can hear the captain now. He's shouting, cast off. That means we better get to work. Cast off the lines on your side of the ship. That's it. Just throw them over on the dock. Did you do it? Yep. Great. I did. Okay. <laughs> now we have to raise the Jolly Roger. That's the pirate flag. Raise your arms high over your head and pull down on the rope. Here we go. <laughs> pull. And pull. And pull. Ow. <laughs> Good work, pal. But that was the easy part. Now we have to climb up to the clothes nest. We're going to be lookouts. Hold on to that rope ladder, good and tight. Are you it's crazy? Yeah, Ready? I should say it's windy. Let's go. Climb up. <sighs> and up. That's it. One foot after the other. Keep climbing. Man. Better not look down. It's a long way. I will. See? We made it. <laughs> now we have to keep a sharp lookout for land. We're looking for Skull Island. That'll be That's your job, buddy. That's where the treasure's supposed to be. If you see anything, shout, Ram Hull. Wait, I think I see something already. Good. No, it's not Ram. It's just a whale. <laughs> boy, oh boy, he sure is a big one. Hey, wait, look. Over on your side of the ship. It looks like land to me. Better let them know down below. Let's okay. first shout, land ho. Ready? Here goes. Land, land ho. ho! Land ho! We're all right. The captain heard us. He's heading into shore. Come on, buddy. It's time for us to climb down. We've still got more work to do. Here we go. One foot after the other. And don't forget to hold on tight. Magically on the ground. Okay, we made it. Now it's time to drop the anchor. Help me grab hold of that big chain, and we'll let it down a little at a time. Heave ho! That's it. Heave ho! Okay, matey. The anchor's down. Let's climb into the long boat and row us into shore. You take the right oar, and I'll take the left. Right oar? Remember to keep your back straight and pull on the oars as hard as you can. Oh, come on, row, man. Row, row. That's it. Nice and steady. I'm and not right-handed. Good job. We made it. Urgh. The captain's going to go around on the other side of the island, but I know a better place to look. It's called Smuggler's Cove. Come on, grab your shovel, and let's hurry. Hold up, me. I think this is the spot. The treasure map says a place with three palm trees right next to each other.
each of them. And there they are. One, two, three. Come on, let's start digging. I use the pick and you shovel the dirt out of the hole. Here we go. Dig. That's it. Keep shoveling. It can't be too much deeper. Oh. Wait, did you hear something? I, I think you struck the metal. Oh. Hey, maybe it's the treasure chest. Come on, buddy. Dig faster. Faster. Oh, Look, there it is. Here, reach down and help me pull it out. Phew. That chest heavier or what? Yeah. Okay, now, are we going to get that rusty old lock off? I know. Hit it with the end of your shovel. I'll count to three. Ready? One, two, three. Great, you did it. Come on, let's open it up. Yeah. Wow, wait. Look at all that gold and silver. The captain sure will be surprised. <laughs> Maybe we'll even get a promotion. Which would you like to be? First mate or second mate? Second mate. <laughs> okay by me. Boy, buried treasure sure is the best part of playing pirate. And that's a fact. Gee, I'm so glad you came over to play at my house. If you want, you can turn my tape over now and we'll play some more. Or we can take a break. And I'll see you later. But just remember, I'll be talking to you. All right. It's time to flip the tape. And you know what that means. Oh, time for me to chatter until I get this mission accomplished. Um, honestly, I don't really know what to say. I guess I could tell you guys that my 2XL, uh, my 1978 Mego 2XL, ate a very rare <clears throat> eight track tape yesterday. Um, under, um, normally you would only see that um, <clears throat> particular item for around $400. That's the only copy that I've ever seen. But I got mine for um, around 42, I guess. Uh, it just had a few pieces missing. It's a game, it's called uh, Robot Astronomy. It's a lot of fun, actually. Um, I had just played uh, games one and two and you don't even really need um all the game board type stuff to enjoy the tape i played tape one which had games one and two and then went to uh tape two which had games three and four and close to the end of game four i mean game three it just the tape just spooled out into the cassette well and um really i mean of all the tapes he could have eaten <laughs> he had to eat the rare one that i will never find again ah <sighs> anyway whatever i don't want to ruin this video with my being sad and frustrated. So, we shall continue. Hiya, pal. How are you? It's me again, Corky. I'm going to play out in the yard with my trucks. Want to come? Sure. Great. I've got a fire truck and a dump truck and a cement truck. I like to pretend they're real trucks and I'm driving them. Oh, I thought your eyes were Tell you what, right. I know a song about some trucks and you can help me sing it. Just pretend you're the truck I'm singing about. Here we go. <laughs> what kind of truck would you be if you could be a truck? I'll name a truck and we'll see if you could be that truck. Be a fire engine going fast, 
Let me hear your siren blast. Let me hear your siren now. <laughs> now here comes another truck. What kind of truck would you be if you could be a truck? I'll name a truck and we'll see if you could be that truck. You're a dumb truck with a load climbing up a real steep road. Let me hear your engine chug. <laughs> truck would you be if you could be a truck? I'll name a truck and we'll see if you can be that truck. A big cement truck going around with a swishing, whooshing sound. Now let me hear you mix that mushy cement. Alright, that's great! <laughs> truck would you be if you could be a truck? I'm very happy to see that you could be a truck. I would rather be an 18-wheeler. One of the funnest things I do at my house is look at books. My favorite was written by a man named Samuel Clements. When he was little, Sam used to get into all kinds of neat adventures especially on the Mississippi River, and I'm going to tell you one of them right now. Every day on his way home from school, Sam stopped at the river to watch the steamboats go by. His favorite was the Delta Queen, the fastest boat on the Mississippi. Gee, said Sam, I wish I could be a riverboat pilot someday. And then Sam had the greatest idea. I know, he said, I'll take a ride on the Delta Queen and try to learn how to be a captain. So Sam ran down the dock and hopped aboard the steamboat. He hid behind some boxes till the boat was all loaded up. And then the Delta Queen chugged into the river and headed south. I wonder what to do now, said Sam. And then he had another idea. He went up the stairs to the pilot house and hid outside the window. I can watch the captain from here, he said. But I bet you'll never guess what happened then. <laughs> Sam sneezed. Uh-oh, said Sam. I am in big trouble. And sure enough, out came the captain of the Delta Queen. What have we here, said the captain. Looks like a stowaway to me. Oh, no, sir, said Sam. I'm not a stowaway. Well, then, said the captain. How are you going to pay for your trip? Maybe I could help steer the boat, said Sam. And before Sam could say another word, the captain took him into the pilot house. All right, my boy, said the captain. Let's see what you can do. So Sam grabbed hold of the big steering wheel, but it was so big, it spun him around and threw him against the wall. Ouch. Better use two hands, said the captain. And then he turned the wheel back on course. Try again. Well, Sam was a little scared, but he wouldn't let that stop him. He put both hands on the wheel and held as hard as he could. And this time the wheel stayed steady. That's the way to do it, said the captain. Now watch out for that log jam up ahead. But, said Sam, I don't see a log jam. That's because you don't know what to look for, said the captain. And he pointed off the starboard bow. Sam turned the wheel just in time and steered the boat away from the log jam. Good work, said the captain. I guess I have a lot to learn about being a pilot, said Sam. I'll teach you, said the captain. When would you like to start? Mm, maybe in a couple of years, said Sam. First, I've got to finish school. And right now, I'm late for supper. The captain just laughed and said, Okay, Sam, I'll let you off. But next time you want to ride on the Mississippi River, better build yourself a raft instead. Yes, sir, said Sam. And he hopped off the boat at the next landing. And you know what? Sam did learn to be a pilot on the Mississippi. And after that, he went out to California and even went to Hawaii, too. He had lots of neat adventures and wrote lots of books about them. Hey, maybe someday you could write a book about your adventures. Hmm. <laughs> That'll be neato. Trying to. Yeah. See, 
I sure like that story. And I hope you got all rested up while I told it. Because now we're going to play a jumping game. Here's all you do. Listen. And when I say the word jump, you jump as high as you can. Ugh. Get set, because here we go. Teddy, you better get out of Jack, the way. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Did you do it? Did you jump when I said jump? Yes. Great. Here's another one. <coughs> hey, diddle, diddle. The cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. <laughs> That's the way. Now here comes a long one. Get ready to jump a lot. There was a man with yellow socks who jumped into a cardboard box. The cardboard box was much too narrow. He jumped into an old wheelbarrow. That old wheelbarrow began to roll. He jumped into a rabbit hole. The rabbit cried, what's this about? The man turned around and jumped right out. He jumped on down the road a while. Before I know it, he jumped a mile. He jumped and jumped right into bed. I've jumped enough, he finally said. Woo! Now we're going to play another game. Only you won't have to move around so much. That's because it's about a kitten who is sitting on a fence in my backyard. I'm going to tell you what happened to him. And you can help me. When I ask you how many, see if you can tell me the answer. Let's try it. One kitten sat on a fence all by herself. Then another kitten came along and sat down beside her. How many kittens were on the fence? Two. The answer is two kittens. One and one are two. Now listen again and tell me how many. One puppy came along and chased the kittens. Then another puppy came along and chased the kittens. How many puppies chased the kittens? Two. I hope you said two puppies, because that's the answer. Here comes another how many question. One little boy came along and chased the puppies. Then another little boy came along and chased the puppies. How many boys chased the puppies? Two. The answer is two little boys. And what do you think happened then? The two little boys got tired and went home. Then the two puppies got tired and went home. But only one kitten got tired and went home. The other kitten came back, and what do you think he did? He sat on the fence. Do you have favorite things? Yep. Well, I sure do. I've got a favorite shirt I wear a lot, and a favorite pair of sneakers, too. Hey, why don't you tell me about some of your favorite things? I'll ask you what color they are, and you tell me. Wowee! This will be neat! Think about your favorite shirt, the one you like the best. What color is your favorite shirt? See if I can guess. Green, blue, red, yellow, did I guess the one? What color is your favorite shirt? Tell me just for fun. Blue. Tell me the color now. Sorry. Think about your toothbrush, the one you like the best. What color is your toothbrush? See if I can guess. Green, blue, red, yellow, did I guess the one? What color is your toothbrush? Tell me just for fun. Tell me the color of your toothbrush now. White, I think. Think about your favorite pants, the one you like the best. What color are your favorite pants? See if I can guess. Green, blue, red, yellow, did I guess the one? What color are your favorite <coughs> pants? Tell me just for fun. Tell me the color now. They're actually black. They're like jeggings, sort of. Time for adventures, I'm so glad you came. There are mountains to climb and lions to tame. Let's have adventures, let's have a bunch. We can fly around the world and be back for lunch. One of my favorite make-believe places is the old wild west. Let's pretend we're there right now. Try to think of some things we could be, like a cowboy or an Indian brave. Got any ideas? A stagecoach driver. Hey, I just thought of something. Let's be stagecoach drivers. That'll be fun. Okay, partner. Here we are in Flagstaff, Arizona. This stage is moving out in 10 minutes. We gotta get to Tombstone by 4 o'clock, because that's when the Kansas City train's leaving. So pull on your boots and put on your cowboy hat. I'll go check on the passengers. Yep, they're all inside. 
Do you see if the strong box is loaded up? How about it? Yep. Well, all right, partner. Let's go. We got a team of six horses, so you better take the reins and do the driving. I'll ride next to you and be the guard. Ready? Thanks. Let's move them out. Hey, I like the way you're handling this team of horses. That's the way. Keep a hold of the reins with two hands. We're heading for some mighty rough territory. First, we gotta travel over Saddleback Ridge. And there it is, just up ahead. Okay, buddy, this is gonna be a test of your driving skills. The trail along the ridge is pretty narrow, so keep a tight rein. That's it, don't let those horses get away from ya. Wowee, it's a long way down. Whoa, watch it. The back wheel is starting to slip off the road. Better pull hard on your reins. Harder. That's it. All right. We're back on the road. Way to go, partner. We're on the downhill side now. Just a little ways more and we'll be in Brush Creek Canyon. Phew, we made it. You can slow down and give those horses a breather. There's only one thing I'm worried about. Brush Creek's the canyon where the getaway gang hangs out. They're the baddest bandits in the territory. I hate to think what would happen if... Oh no! Don't look now, but I think we're being followed. Better grab a hold of your whip and get ready to make a run for it. If we can just make it out of the canyon, they'll never catch us on the open road. Uh-oh, just what I was afraid of. It's the getaway gang, all right? It's up to you now, buddy. Put the reins in your right hand and crack that whip with your left. Yeah. Make those horses run. That's the way. Ha! Get up! Faster! Faster! They're ganging on us! Teddy come. Crack that whip! Harder! Only a half come a mile her. to go. Hey, look! Three of them are giving up! Okay. There's only one left. It's okay, it looks buddy. like Blackbird himself. He's the baddest of the bunch. But hey, I can see the end of the canyon. Another quarter mile, and we're home free. Come on, buddy, you can do it. It's not yee ya. All right. Partner. It's either yee ha or ya. Blackbird is leaning in the court. Come here. <laughs> See you later, Bart. Better yeah, luck next puppy. time. You can take it slow now, pal. It's Whoa. easy going from here on. And I bet you we've even made the Kansas City train. Hey, you're pretty good at this stagecoach driving. <laughs> you sure you haven't done this kind of thing before? I have, actually. Gee, buddy. Thanks a lot for coming over to my house. We'll have to do it again sometime real soon. You know, you're about the best pal a guy could ever have. You and me, pal. Before the day is through, you and me, pal. We got a lot to do. You know you've always been my very special friend. And every day I like you more. You're great. We ought to celebrate, don't you think? That's what pals are for. If you want, you can turn my tape over now. And just remember, I'll be talking to you. Oh, that was so much fun. Oh, but guys, this tape. Oh. It's like, it's like Jill all over again, except, hold up, it's like Jill all over again, except on the outside, and it doesn't feel right, I don't know, something, something is not right. <laughs> Just show you the name there. I don't know where it's printed. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. It's gonna it's gonna sound really bumpy, but oh well, boy. As long as it can be fixed, I don't really care. Just save my tape. Somebody. All right, guys. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Random extra bit there. Uh, but anyways. <sighs> the last quirky tape that I currently own, uh, I will probably record on Monday. I hope all of you enjoyed this video. And as usual, like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell so you will know whenever I put up new content. God bless, and especially be uh, in prayer for the people down here on the um, southern coast as the, or sorry, the east coast as uh, Hurricane Nicole comes in. But anyway, guys, I will see you on Monday in the next video. <laughs>